Again, we have subjective, objective, ADL, assessment, plan, notes, and narrative, and we're going to focus on the plan section. It's pretty straightforward. This is the free form field we've spoke about before. You can type in here, you can dictate using speech recognition software such as Dragon, or even if you're using an iPad that has Siri, eventually you can use that speech recognition software in here as well. In any one of these buttons, you have another free form field. If you put something in here, this one goes to the end. This will go to the end of the entire plan section in the note narrative. Anything in here will go with this selection or with this line. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. All right, so let's build out a plan here. So pretty straightforward if you're doing an adjustment. You'd select the segments that you're going to adjust. The location for an adjustment in equipment you don't necessarily need. Length of time you're not going to use. Frequency you would use, let's say three times a week. Duration, number of weeks would be four weeks. The goals would be to reduce pain. Anything you want to choose here. Correct, so it looks like the stations, restores biomechanics. And this is a button that says performed. You could say performed, not performed, performed acute treatment. Again, you can add any buttons in here that you want or any words that you want. But we'll say performed in this case. So I'll click over to the narrative. Okay, you can see with this line that free form text I showed you shows up at the beginning. And then you could see adjust C6, T12, L5, three times per week for four weeks to reduce pain, correct subluxations, and restore biomechanics. Treatment was performed today. And then the other free form field that I've typed in, this goes to the end, meaning it goes to the end of the plan section. And I'll keep that there so you can see it again in a minute. Let's see what some of these other buttons are for. So if it's physical therapy, for example, um, we might do something like mechanical traction. You could add a location. A lot of times for mechanical traction, that might be cervical spine, let's say, for example. The equipment, you could have any different type of equipment you might want in here. Posture pulley. Uh, length is, this would be minutes. This is 15 minute increments, but you can get very specific. And we're going to do that three times a week, four weeks. And for that, the purpose of that or the goal of that is to correct civilizations, reduce forward head translation, for example. And then let's look at the narrative for that. Mechanical traction in the following regions, cervical for eight minutes, three times a week for four weeks, to correct subluxation, reduce forward head translation. Used posture pulley. Um, again, you can add any button in there that says anything. You could add Pope two-way, um, the universal traction, whatever you want to put in there, you can put in there. Um, also, the, this is where it's very useful to have, when we look at the customizations videos, I'll show you how you can add a button in within a button. You can actually add a citation. So per equipment that you use, you can put the any research article citation at the end of the note automatically just by selecting the equipment. As you can see here, that freeform note, I'll show you again here, that I typed here, is now at the end of the note. Still, it stays at the end of the note regardless of how many different bullet points you add. And this we're going to say is perform. Now, in a subsequent visit, what you use this for is this is going to be your basically your treatment plan. You're going to say exactly what you're doing and why you're doing it and what the goals are of the care are. And then on a subsequent visit, the patient may come in again. Uh, let's say they come in today and you know you normally do this traction, but uh, they don't have time to do it today. So you want to let 
the insurance company know or whoever reads this note know that you normally do it but you didn't do it today so that's where you put not performed this way you keep it as part of your plan and each time on each visit you scroll through you could see um, what it was what was done last time make a note if you need to and then put it back as performed for the current visit without having to erase an entire line just as a side note if you were to hit clear on any one of these buttons that clears out the selection any other button and any of the lines if you hit clear all that clears out the entire line 